working. Um, thank you for gathering and we give all the glory to God. Um, could everybody, hello everyone, hello, Peter. Peter. <laughs> um, let us get started. Uh, let us first sing, praise Jesus is the Christ. I'll give the representative prayer. Okay, let us all pray. Um, uh, Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for gathering all the precious children of God here today. We confess that Jesus, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. May you receive all the glories, Lord. Within your grace, you have led the young business persons of New York to continue within the pandemic age and allow the disciples to be built firmly upon the solid rock of Christ. You have allowed us to witness the kingdom of God coming, up, coming upon each and every worship and the 237 fields as we continue, to sca uh, continue the scattering and gathering movement. Now we have been led by the Holy Spirit to transition the worship leaders. May you receive all the glories, thanks, and praises, Lord. We pray that you give the blessing of Joseph and Jacob to the second court worship leaders who have devoted themselves holding on to the covenant of watchmen, the watchtower, and the antenna for the young business persons of Northeast uh, New York and America and the world. We pray that you continue to establish the throne in them, throne in their churches, and the 70 disciple uh, industry fields. As we are being commissioned off, allow them the blessing of creation, the blessing of the Eden Garden to continue the life movement, discipleship movement, the remnant movement, and the globalization movement in their fields. We pray for the newly appointed officers, Lord. We pray that you, you continue to remind them the promise that you have given to Paul in Acts 27, 24. Do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand before Caesar and behold, God has granted you all those who sail with you. 
May their two years of service be the greatest time of being established as the model of Mission Squad, the remnant ministers, and the model of the Holy Masons, Lord. May you continue to breathe in the breath of life and to restore the image of God to those who gather for the worship. May they shine the light of Christ to the disaster field, the blind spots, and the golden fishing ground with the blood of Christ. For the ministers, the chairman, the key leaders of America, and the fellow young business persons who are gathered here, may you allow the blessing of Obadiah, the wisdom of Jethro, and the heart of David as they continue to be the background of prayer for these young business persons and remnants. We pray that the blessing of the throne come upon their family, their churches, and their fields. We pray that you give the filling of the Holy Spirit to the messenger, Pastor John Zhang, today, and to all those who are hearing your voice. May you guide us and powerfully work upon this worship, Lord. We pray this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Let me uh, briefly share um, the slide with you. Um, page display. Um, so we are holding on to the missions of the young business person, the Acts 2.42. Um, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship and to the breaking of the bread and to the prayer. Um, throughout all, um, since the 2021, the appointment of the second court worship leaders, and also before in the inception of the young business persons of the New York, we held on to the tenth of the meeting um, for the young business persons to gather and the uniqueness of the training ground for the three discipleships, uh, the future church officers and the recreation, the incubator for the financially sustainable three enterprises. So this is just a brief um, picture. And right now, um, this is our second cohort leaders. And our Sukjin has been our, our Tai Chigas. And she prays that the blessing of the throne come upon the art field um, and also in her family as well as the church. Um, and Sogun is also pray praying for the blessed meeting as well as. Uh, the actual, the gospel experience within the design field and also becoming the person of the prayer. Um, and Joanne is also a lifelong prayer is to be developed um, and to be the witness of Christ in the field of classical music and break down the idol uh, culture within the music field. Um, and also Nari also prays for the blessing of the throne coming upon her tech field as well. Um, so, and also uh, we'll share about David and uh, next, the new leaders. So um, this is a newly appointed leader and uh, David will be appointed as the president of the third court. Um, his lifelong prayer is to be the spiritual summit and establish the three organizations uh, and conquer the three organizations and save the three organizations and um, save the 237 nations and be the establish of the Holy Masons. And we have also Paul, who's also been stewarding our praise team during the second court, and he, he will continue to be operating the uh, praises 
um, he prays that to entrust all that um, he is to God. So please pray. And also Gloria will be installed um, as uh, one of the communication, the out, VP of outreach. And she prays for the covenantal family and the gospel culture and the church for the future generation. And we have our Yeji who will be, Celine, who will be installed as a VP of incubation. Uh, she prays that she be established at the spiritual su summit and full, uh, be the witness of the family evangelization and be the missionary who could save the field and the region and be the ambassador who could build the spiritual platform and then the enterprise. So this is a brief introduction of who have gathered here and who have been serving. Um, so at this time, um, let us see. Um, at this time, let's sing one more praise and then uh, we'll have Pastor John Jong give us the message. Thank I am so happy to meet you in such an important worship. So we have 90 people who are gathered here today, and you are very precious people who will save America and 237 nations. And we have very important people who are participating uh, from Korea at the chairman, as well as the North America YVAM, um, very important leader. 
어, 여러분의 사진과 얼굴을 이렇게 한 사람 한 사람은 잠깐 기도하면서 보니까 어, 바울과 함께 로마 보고 말했던 로마로 16장의 일꾼들이구나 이게 느껴졌습니다. So as I saw your faces and while praying, I was able to feel that you are the people of the Roman 16. 어, 우리 뉴욕의 영 산업인은 제가 볼 때는 세계 영 산업인이다. 저는 그렇게 봅니다. And when I see our young business persons of New York, I see you as a world young business persons. 뉴욕의 수도는 아니, 미국의 수도를 워싱턴이라고 하는데 세계 수도는 뉴욕이라고 합니다. And they say that the capital of the America is the Washington DC, but they say that the capital of the world is New York. 왜냐하면 세계 세계를 움직이는 경제 센터가 뉴욕 맨하탄이기 때문에 그렇게 부릅니다. The reason for calling that is because the center for moving all the financials of the world is in New York. 그래서 오늘 여러분들에게 하나님께 또 귀중한 말씀을 주실 줄로 믿습니다. And I believe that God will give us the precious word. 자, 우리 하나님 말씀 여호수아서 1장 1절에서 9절입니다. So let us look at Joshua 1:1-9. 자, 다 읽어야 되지만 1절하고 2절만 읽겠습니다. So we have to read them all, but we'll just read the uh, verse 1 and verse 2. 자, 제가 먼저 한글 읽겠습니다. 여호와의 종 모세가 죽은 후에 여호와께서 모세의 수종자 눈의 아들 여호수아에게 말씀하여 이르시되 내종 모세가 죽었으니 이제 너는 이 모든 백성과 더불어 일어나 이 요단을 건너 내가 그들 곧 이스라엘 자손에게 주는 그 땅으로 가라. Uh, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people, into the land that I am giving to them, to the people of Israel. So, 여러분, uh, Moses는 중요한 사람이죠. And Moses is an important person. 하나님께서 모세에게 애굽에서 언약을 주고 이렇게 출애굽에 하나님의 역사를 보았던 아주 중요한 사람이죠. Moses is an important person whom God gave the covenant to during the Exodus and who witnessed the Exodus. 이제 모세가 120세가 되어서 어, 죽은 후에 그 언약의 바톤을 여호수아에게 전달을 합니다. So after his death of 120 years, he passes on the baton of the covenant to Joshua. 정확하게 말하면 모세가 죽은 게 아니고 모세는 사명을 마치고 지금 하나님 보좌 천국에 있죠. So accurately speaking, it is not that Moses is dead, but he finished his mission and he is on the throne. 자, 구약의 하나님의 소원은 그리스도의 언약을 잡고 가나안 땅을 정복하는 것입니다. And the will of God during the Old Testament is holding on to the covenant and conquering the Canaan land. 그런데 그것을 한 사람이 하는 게 아니고 그 언약의 바톤을 계속 이어가지고 언약을 전달하는 것입니다. However, it is not just one person who, in, who is doing that, but rather holding on to the baton of the covenant and continuing. 자, 첫 번째 언약의 주자 지금 모세를 믿고서 모든 여호수아와 이스라엘 백성들이 따라왔어요. So the first figure of the covenant on believing and trusting in Moses all the people follow him. 그런데 그 모세가 지금 이제 육신적으로 죽음을 맞이한 겁니다. And now Moses is uh, physically facing death. 자 모세는 가나안 땅을 들어가지 못하고 가나안 땅을 바라보면서 눈을 감았어요. So Moses didn't enter into the Canaan land, but he looked at the Canaan land and he closed his eyes. 여러분 한 나라의 이 지도자가 위대한 지도자가 죽으면은 이스라엘 백성들이 얼마나 불안합니까? 
So to how much uh, would it be fearful for the Israelites when one nation's commander dies? 그 가장 중요하고 위기 순간에 하나님께서 다시 여호수아에게 말씀을 주는 것입니다. In the most important and critical time, and God is giving the word to Joshua. 자, 오늘 제가 듣기로 제 3기 와이밤 영산업인 또 임원들을 이렇게 선출하고 또 세리머니도 한다고 들었습니다. So today I heard that the third core of the YBOM leaders are being installed. Uh, YBOM의 제일 일기 때 우리 에드 깁스님이 시작하면서 맨 앞판에서 너무 많이 수고하셨어요. So as uh, the first cohort started in Manhattan, our um, Deacon Eddie had devoted himself. 그때 우리 에드 깁스님과 그 우리 영사님들이 대면으로 이렇게 말씀과 이렇게 책을 읽고 주제 포럼 하는 것도 들었습니다. So I also saw and heard about uh, with Deacon Eddie, everyone met in person and had the word forum as well as the book forum. 그리고 나서 두 번째 언약의 바톤을 함께 했던 우리 이재 집사님이 언약의 바톤을 받았죠. And the second person uh, received the baton of the covenant and the Deacon J he received the baton of the covenant. 자, 그리고 나서 이제 세 번째 우리 이제 데이비 샤워 집사님과 또 새로운 임원들이 세 번째로 이제 바톤을 받습니다. And at this uh, today we have the third um, uh, baton of the covenant is passing on to our deacon David Shaw as well as other leaders. 어떤 일을 갖다가 새로운 임원으로 리더로 맡아 산다는 것은 쉬운 일이 아닙니다. So you uh, taking the role of a leader and the board member is not that easy. 더더욱 지금 팬더믹 코로나에 오미크론에 지금 가장 또 위험하고 어려운 시기입니다. So this is uh, the, uh, the time in which the most difficult time of the pandemic and the Omicron. 특별히 뉴욕은 이 코로나와 오미크론이 가장 또 심한 곳 중에 한 곳입니다. And the New York has much severity over the coronavirus and the Omicron. 지금 우리 산업인들도 또 많이 불안해하고 있죠. And even the business people are um, in fear. 자, 이때 어떻게 하면 복음을 가진 우리 영산업인 렘넌트는 승리할 수 있을까요? So at this time, how can the remnants with the gospel can succeed? 결론부터 얘기하면은 말 성경의 하나님의 말씀을 따라가면 됩니다. To conclude first, you have to follow the word from the Bible. 하나님은 하나님의 말씀 받은 사람을 통하여 하나님의 뜻을 이루십니다. God fulfills His will through the people who hold on to God's word. 모세가 죽고 지금 가나안 땅을 처음으로 들어가는데 얼마나 제일 불안한 건 여호수아와 그 일꾼들이 얼마나 불안하겠어요. So the most fearful people as they enter into the Canaan land after they lose the leader, how uh, fearful would they be? 가나안 땅에는 일곱 족속과 서른한 명의 지금 왕들이 무장을 하고 기다리고 있어요. So inside of the Canaan land, the seven tribes as well as the thirty-one kings are armed and waiting for them. 자, 이때 하나님은 지금 가나안 땅에 들어가라는 것입니다. At this time, God is commanding them to go into the Canaan land. 중요한 건 무엇을 붙잡고 가냐는 거죠. And what's important is what are you going to go in with holding on to? 자, 짤막하지만 중요하기 때문에 여기 화면에 좀 띄우겠습니다. So because it's short but important, I'll show I'll share the screen. 자, 그래서 오늘 제목을 와이밤의 제2의 시작이다 이렇게 정했습니다. So I entitled today's message as the second start of the wipe on New York. 자, 이때 하나님이 원하시는 첫 번째 계획은 뭐냐? 하나님의 말씀을 따라가라. So what is the first is a plan that God desires? Follow uh, going after the word of God. 한 번도 가보지 않은 길에는 많은 어려움과 위험이 있습니다. 
So many difficulties and the hardships lies on the path that you have never went. 그러나 하나님의 말씀 언약을 붙잡으면은 말씀 그대로 언약이 성취됩니다. However, if you hold on to God's covenant, then it will be fulfilled as the covenant. 여호수아에게 무슨 언약을 줬을까요? So what kind of covenant did God give to Joshua? 자, 여호수아서 1장 2절 말씀해 보니까 내종 모세가 죽었으니 이제 너는 모든 백성과 더불어 일어나 요단을 건너 내가 그들 곧 이스라엘 자손에게 주는 그 땅으로 가라. In Joshua 1, 2, it says, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over the Jordan, you and all this people, into the land that I am giving to you, to the people of Israel. 하나님의 말씀은 이스라엘 자손에게 주는 그 땅, 메시아 그리스도가 오는 가난 땅으로 가라 그 말입니다. So what the word God is giving to his people is to go to the land that the Messiah will come. 아직 지금 가나안 땅에 안 들어갔어요. And they have yet to enter into the Canaan land. 우리 이제 와이밤 제 3기가 시작을 하면서 이제 하나님의 정확한 올해 말씀을 따라가면 됩니다. So as you are starting off at the third core of Waibam New York, all you just have to follow the exact word of God. 모세에게 하나님의 말씀하시던 말씀 중에서도 가장 중요한 그리스도의 언약을 붙잡아야 됩니다. So uh, in the, uh, amongst all the words that God's given to Moses, you have to hold on to the covenant of Christ. 하나님이 모세에게 주었던 최고의 복음은 출애굽기 3장 18절입니다. The greatest of the gospel that God's given to Moses is uh, Exodus 3:18. 애굽이라는 그 나라에서 절대로 빠져나올 수 없어요. So they could never get out of escape from the powerful nation Egypt. 애굽은 강대국이고 바로 왕은 사단을 상징합니다. So Egypt is a powerful nation and the pharaoh symbolizes the Satan. 지금으로 말하면 강대국 미국을 말하는 거예요. So in other words it's talking about the powerful nation America. 어떻게 하면은 거기서 출애굽을 하고 하나님의 역사를 볼수 있을까요? So how can they have exodus and see the God's plan? 하나님의 주신 언약의 출애굽 3장 18절에 하나님 앞에 희생 제사를 드리러 가라는 것입니다. So uh, the work of God is go give the sacrifice to Lord our God. 우리가 너무 잘 아는 그리스도의 십자가 언약을 붙잡으면은 출애굽의 영광을 본다는 것입니다. So in other words, if you hold on to the covenant of Christ of cross, then you will see the glory of Exodus. 여호수아는 모세와 함께 40년 동안 그 피언약 잡고 말씀 따라서 가는 걸 봤어요. Joshua witnessed Moses holding on to the covenant and going according to the word. 우리 와이밤도 일기 이기 때딱 우리 선배 리더들이 왔던 걸딱 보면서 우리 삼기가 그대로 하면 됩니다. So our third cohort um, just uh, follow how the first and the second senior uh, the leaders have uh, followed the word of God and do exactly that. 제가 영산업이나 하는 걸 보면은 하나님의 산업 선교 그 말씀을 그대로 붙잡고 포럼하면서 지금까지 오는 걸 봤어요. So I've seen the young business persons holding on to the business mission's message and following exactly the word of God. 그 말씀 성취의 열매가 여러분들입니다. So the fulfillment, the fruit of the fulfillment of that word is you. 모세가 붙잡았던 그 피언약 그리스도의 복음처럼 여호수아 너도 그리스도의 언약을 붙잡으라. So just like the blood covenant that Moses held on to, Joshua hold on to this covenant. So before your businesses, before going into the industry, what you have to enjoy first is enjoying the covenant of Christ. 
그리고 어디로 가야 됩니까? So where should you go? 가나안 땅으로 가야 되죠. You have to head towards the Canaan land. 여호수아서 1장 3절 말씀에 내가 모세에게 말한 바와 같이 너희 발바닥으로 밟는 것을 모두 너희에게 주었다. In Joshua 1:3 it says every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon I have given to you just as I promised to Moses. 가나안 땅에 들어가지도 않은데 하나님께서 다 너희에게 주었다고 말씀하고 있어요. They haven't even entered into the Canaan land, but God says He has given to you all. 그래서 그리스도와 가나안 정복 세계 복음화 언약을 붙잡으면은 이미 승리한 것입니다. So that is why if you hold on to the covenant of Christ and the conquer of the Canaan land and the covenant of the world evangelization, then you've already won the victory. 저는 영산업인 뉴욕의 영산업인과 이 미주의 영산업인 여러분에게 하나님께서 2, 3, 7, 5천 종족 살릴 경제를 여러분에게 맡겼다고 확신합니다. So I am sure that God has entrusted the economy that will save the 237 nations and 5,000 people groups to the New York Y bomb as well as the young business persons of America. 그래 여러분들이 날마다 오직 그리스도 오직 세계 복음화 2, 3, 7, 5천 종족을 가슴에 품고 기도하시기 바랍니다. So every day may you embrace only Christ, world evangelization, the 237 nations and 5,000 people groups and pray. 아무것도 두려워할 필요 없어요. And you do not have to fear about anything. 언약만 붙잡고 기도하면 됩니다. So all you have to do is hold on to the covenant and pray. 모세가 애굽에 있을 때도 언약 붙잡은 고센 땅에는 광명이 있고 거기는 바이러스와 재앙이 없었어요. So um, when Moses was uh, there, when they were um, living in the Goshen, there was only uh, the brightness and, and there was no disease. 여러분이 코로나 바이러스가 지금 계속 증가하는 이때. 복음을 가진 영산업인 여러분들이 기도하면은 뉴욕과 미주의 재앙도 꺾일 줄로 믿습니다. I believe that even during this pandemic of coronavirus increasing, if you young business persons who have the gospel praise, I believe that the darkness will crumble in New York and America. 자, 두 번째로 이제 24시 보좌의 축복을 누리라. And secondly, enjoy the 24 hours of the blessing of the throne. 올해 2022년 새 우리에게 준 가장 최고의 응답이 24시 보좌의 축복입니다. So the greatest blessing that was given during the 2022 New Year's is the blessing of the throne. 어떻게 하면 가나안 땅을 정복하는가? How can you conquer the Canaan land? 어떻게 하면은 이 와이밤이 뉴욕과 미주에 있는 흑암 경제를 빛의 경제로 전복할까요? So how can um, the the young business persons of New York can conquer New York in America that is um, ruptured by the economy of darkness? 하나님의 함께하는 위드 인마누엘 원리스의 축복을 누리면 됩니다. You have to enjoy the blessing of God being with Emmanuel and oneness. 자 여호수아서 1장 5절 한번 같이 읽읍시다. Let us read Joshua 1:5 together. 내 평생에 너를 능히 대적할 자가 없으리니 내가 모세와 함께 있던 것 같이 너와 함께 있을 것임이라. 내가 너를 떠나지 아니하며 버리지 아니하리라. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life just as I was with Moses. So I will be with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. 여러분 가장 중요한 단어가 창조주 하나님, 성삼위 하나님이 여러분과 와이밤과 함께 하면은 아무도 대적할 사람이 없습니다. So the most important word is if the triune God is with you, the creator God is with the Y-bam, no one can go against you. 여호수아에게도 평생 동안 내가 너와 모세와 함께 들어가 내가 함께 할 것이다. And to Joshua, I will be with you just as I was with Moses. 
아무도 너를 대적할 자가 없다. No one could ever go against you. 여러분이 언약 붙잡고 보좌의 축복을 누리면은 여러분에게는 하나님께서 2, 3, 7, 5천 종 살릴 빛의 경제 모든 축복을 누리게 될 것입니다. If you hold on to the covenant and enjoy the blessing of the throne, then you will enjoy the blessing of the economy of light and that will save the 237 nations and 5,000 people groups. 그래서 나에게 24시 보좌의 축복이 임할 수 있도록 기도하세요. So may you pray so that the blessing of the throne can come upon you for 24 hours. 교회 예배를 통해서 보좌의 능력 임마누엘을 누리세요. So through the worship at the church, may you enjoy the blessing of the throne. 그리고 이제 교회를 초월해서 우리 복음을 가진 모든 교회 영산업인들의 원리스의 축복을 누리시길 바랍니다. So transcending the churches uh, with the other young business persons with the gospel, may you enjoy the oneness. 하나님이 함께하면은 가나안 땅은 정복이 되어지는 것입니다. If God is with you, then the Canaan land will be conquered. 자, 여호수아 1장 7절 8절입니다. So let us read Joshua 1:7-8. 그래 여러분들이 계속해서 강단의 말씀, 산업 선교 말씀을 굳게 붙잡으시길 바랍니다. So may you firmly grab hold on to the word, the business mission's message. 자, 여호수아 1장 7절 8절 말씀 같이 읽어 볼까요? Let us read Joshua 1:7 to 8 together. 자, 오직 강하고 극히 담대하여 나의 종 모세가 내게 내게 명령한 그 율법을 다 지켜 행하고 우로나 좌로나 치우치지 말라. 그리하면 어디로 가든지 형통하리니 이 율법 책을 내 입에서 떠나지 말게 하며 주여라 그것을 묵상하여 그 안에 기록된 대로 다 지켜 행하라. 그리하면 내 길이 평탄하게 될 것이며 내가 형통하리라. 여러분들이 하나님의 말씀을 갖다가 굳게 붙잡으면 미리 승리하는 것입니다. If you grab firmly onto God's word, then you will succeed in advance. 우리 영산업은 일기 이기 때그 산업 선교 메시지를 따라왔던 것처럼 삼기 때도. 말씀 붙잡고 계속 말씀 보좌 축복 누리면서 포럼하고 기도하면 됩니다. So just like the first and second cohort follow the business mission's message, all you have to do is hold on to God's word, enjoy the blessing of the throne, and have forum. 그게 뉴욕과 미주 세계 경제를 정복하는 방법입니다. That is the method in which you conquer the economy of New York, America, as well as the world. 저는 목사로 선교사로 가장 중요한 나의 주업은 24시 보호자의 축복을 누리는 기도입니다. So as a pastor, the main job is for me to enjoy the blessing of the throne 24 hours through prayer. 저는 코로나, 팬데믹 코로나가 오고 나서 진짜 2, 3, 7, 5천 종력 이 뉴욕에서부터 2, 3, 7 나라까지 전도와 선교 문이 가장 많이 열렸습니다. So uh, because of the corona pandemic, uh, the doors to the 237 nations and 5000 people groups widely opened. 왜냐면은 하나님이 언약 잡고 24시 아침 저녁으로 매일 보좌 축복을 누리고 있어요. The reason for that is because holding on to God's covenant and enjoying the blessing of the throne day and night. 여러분들이 아무것도 두려워하지 말고 말씀 붙잡고 보호자의 축복 속으로 들어가시 바랍니다. Do not be afraid of anything but hold on to God's word and go into the blessing of the throne. 여러분들이 중요한 사람인 줄 알고 사단은 24시 공격을 할 것입니다. Satan knowing that you are important people, he will try to attack you for 24 hours. 여호수아와 리더들이 언약 잡고 가나안 땅으로 들어가는 걸 알고 사단은 두려워할 것입니다. And the Satan will fear knowing that you with Joshua and leaders are holding on to the covenant and entering into the uh, the Canaan land. 
여러분 한 번도 가지 않은 그 길을 갈 때는 놀랄만한 일, 두려워하는 일들이 많이 일어납니다. So if you walk down the path that you've never walked before, you'll be facing with the things that surprise you and things that make you fear. 절대 속지 마시기 바랍니다. But never be deceived. 자, 여호수아서 1장 9절 말씀. 내가 내게 명한 것이 아니냐? 강하고 담대하라. 두려워하지 말며 놀라지 말라. 네가 어디로 가든지 내 하나님 여호와가 너와 함께 하느니라. 아멘. In Joshua 1.9, it says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. And do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. The Satan's head has been broken through Christ. However, the Satan is not dead and it's living. 눈에 안 보이는 악한 사단 마귀가 여러분의 마음 생각을 통해서 계속 공격할 것입니다. The, the Satan who is living is continuously attack your hearts and thought. 교회를 초월하고 지역을 초월해서 이런 와이밤을 하다 보면 여러 가지 갈등도 있을 거예요. So as you do on divorce, transcending the churches, transcending the region, you also face conflict. So when you're faced with problems and conflicts, do not be afraid. And God speaks. The Lord God is with you. So our third cohort, um, including our David Shao and the leadership team, may you uh, firmly grab hold on to the covenant and receive the double portion of the spirit. 자, 마지막 결론, 기도 제목입니다. And it's the last conclusion, it is a prior topic. 이미 올해 원단의 세, 개, 세 가지 기도 제목을 여러분 받았습니다. And we've already received the three prayer topics during the New Year's message. 오늘 뉴욕 민주화지 필라델피아 우리 지역에서 랩넌 데일 모이는데 또그 원단 메시지 3강을 또 정리해서 목사님들과 랩넌 데일이 함께 또 들었어요. So um, today we had the remnant day where the New York, New Jersey, and Philadelphia gathered, and everyone, the pastors and remnants, heard the three lectures once again and had the forum. 그런데 말씀을 정리해서 또 듣는데 또 힘이 나는 거예요. However, we're organizing the word again, and uh, however, we're receiving strength once again. 하나님의 주신 말씀이기 때문에 그렇습니다. It is because it is a word given by God. 우리 영산아 베니. 세 가지 원단해 주신 이 기도 제목을 여러분들이 대표적인 축복으로 누리실 바랍니다. So I pray that you young business persons enjoy the three prayer topics that is given during the New Year's message as uh, the representative figures. 여러분 한 사람 한 사람이 나의 십사시 보호자의 축복을 누리는 서밋 타임 기도 속으로 들어가시길 바랍니다. You know, may you each individuals go into the 24 hours, uh, the blessing of the throne, by going into the summit time prayer time. 그리고 두 번째 교회 이십사시 이 보좌의 능력을 누리는 예배 속으로 들어가시길 바랍니다. So secondly, go into the blessing of the church 24 hours, enjoying the power of the throne. 여러분이 속해 있는 교회 강단 말씀을 통하여. 최고의 힘과 은혜를 누리실 바랍니다. So may you enjoy the greatest power as well as the grace uh, per the pulpit that you, uh, the church that you are involved in. 그리고 세 번째 현장 24시 여러분의 현장은 여러분의 업과 산업의 현장입니다. So the field that you are in, the field 24 hours is the place that you have your uh, livelihood and the, um, the economy for evangelism. 여러분의 달란트와 업을 통하여 237 나라 렘넌 살리는 빛의 경제를 회복하시길 바랍니다. 
May you restore the economy of light through the talent that is given to you and through the occupation that you give that's entrusted to you. 오늘 우리 와이밤 제 3기 제 2의 시작을 하면서 오늘의 이 말씀을 굳게 붙잡고 승리하시길 주 예수 이름으로 축복합니다. I bless you in the name of the Lord that our, as we start the YBOM third core, may you grab, firmly grab hold on to the word and, and start. 기도하겠습니다. Let us pray. 하나님께 감사드립니다. God, we give you thanks. 주는 그리토시여 살아계신 하나님의 아들이십니다. Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. YBOM 영산업이니 하나님의 말씀 따라가는 제자가 되게 하여 주옵소서. May the Y-bomb young business persons be the people who follow the word of God. 날마다 교회를 통하여 보좌의 능력으로 세움을 얻게 하여 주옵소서. May you allow them to receive the new strength through the power of the throne, through the church. 우리 산업인들의 업과 산업 현장에 2, 3, 7 살리는 대표적인 기념비적인 빛의 응답을 허락하여 주옵소서. So may you allow the economy of light to the occupational field that they're in as they represent and allow them to receive the representative blessing and the monumental blessings. 살아계신 주 예수 그리스 이름으로 기도합니다. We pray this in the living Lord Jesus Christ's name. 아멘. 감사합니다. Thank you very much. Um, at this time, um, let us sing Jesus is the Christ once again and give offering. And if David, you could share um, the offering link. Right before when we were giving introduction, um, I think um, I think God is allowing us to pray for this uh, very special individual. So it has skipped. <laughs> so we have our uh, Kite being appointed as a chief of staff. He prays to get to know God more each day, and he uh, prays to serve and build churches and remnants, and he prays to leverage skills and finance for the advancement of the kingdom of God. <laughs> so. Um, Thank you. Um, at this time, we'll have our YBOM um, North America president, Elder Peter Lee, give the word of encouragement. Ah, <laughs> uh, 영어로 할까요? 네. 
Yes, sir. Okay. Hi, everyone. 만나서 반갑습니다. Good to see you. 우리 한혁 집사님, 집사님도 계신데 오랜만입니다. 안녕하세요. 예. 어, 제가 오늘 잠깐 말씀드리길 원합니다. I'd like to share a um, short uh, word of encouragement today. Um, I'm, I'm, my understanding is that, you know, third um, co-host, you guys are uh, starting a new this year. Um, I heard that the, um, the your office office will go for two years, right? So um, a lot of months still left. Um, you know, Galatians chapter two twenty says, "I've been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me, and I live uh, by faith in the Son of God." Um, many people. After hearing uh, Galatians chapter 2.20, they think about it this way that, you know, I should die. But um, what the wording is a little different. It says, I've been crucified. I, I already died. Um, and now I live in Christ. Christ lives in me. So it means our life that we used to live under Genesis chapter 3 is gone. And then now we live uh, as, as a born again child of God. And our, our life right now is very, very different. If you truly died, you don't have to. Um, you, your um, assertions or um, presumptions no longer are there, right? You don't have to push yourself out to do God's, um, you know, to be led by God. You can be perfectly led by God because God is with you. A lot of people, when they start their offices, they ask me, you know, elderly, what do you, what should we do? What do we need to do? And they think a lot about what type of work they should be doing. And um, it is rightful question. But then again, um, by thinking about what they should do, um, they think, you know, eventually people think too much, I think. Rather than praying, they think too much, and then they start to do um, many different projects or works um, that they think is necessary. Um, I hope that in the next two years, you don't fall into those kind of traps. Um, why? Because before you think about what you should do, you should be believing that God has called you um, beyond time for his great work with perfect preparation. It's already done deal. Like he calls you knowing your future, what he will do in the future. Um, so rather than thinking about what we should do, I really pray and hope that you should, uh, you guys start forming really deeply about the word of God that he is giving you right now, like this week, next week, and so on. If you go into uh, prayer 24, then um, your assertions and your um, opinion goes away. They go away. And um, only thing that's left to be done is to um, um, accept all. Uh, okay. Yeah, you start to accept the different opinions, different ideas, you know, even criticism that people may give to you. In, in the church or outside church. Um, that's the only thing that's left to be done. Um, I've noticed that, that God is all powerful and uh, almighty and, and that, um, but he still wants to use us. And um, I was thinking, you know, building up RUTC, building up, you know, uh, buying RU uh, properties, May take may may cost a lot of money, but then again, if God, you know, willing, He could just use somebody to to donate tons of money and do it Himself, right? But then again, that's not not how He does His work. He um, He uses those people, uh, their small devotion and their small prayer of those who hold on to the covenant of God and then pray, right? So I hope in the New York. Uh, why bomb you guys should you guys would you guys would um, gather together and then find out the covenant of flow 
for your area and also United States and beyond. Um, you should really believe God's word that he would fulfill his uh, ultimate covenant as just as, as he has been doing since Genesis chapter, Genesis chapter one and so on. Um, and among the important words, number one is um, business people's message. Um, in, even in lay, we gather every week and then discuss in a forum about the uh, business people's message. Um, uh, the members in, in our district, they um, later told me that, you know, they have changed a lot while just forming. They used to have like this idea, the idea, but then again, as they form together, um, the understanding of, of um, God's covenant has, has um, deeply uh, changed their um, understanding and also the behaviors and, and so on. And then number two um, is RU message. Um, if you haven't enrolled in that RU, I really, really hope that you guys do. <clears throat> and um, there are several messages that RU um, gives out openly. So you should probably join to that, those kind of like opening message or closing message. Um, Pastor Yu did say um, the last closing message of RU. Uh, he said the RU is the headquarter for Y Baumers. So uh, that means um, in at least for the United States and beyond, uh, all RU is going to be the uh, the platform for our um, Y Baumers and all you know all United States and beyond together to follow the ways of God for the sake of 237 and 5,000 uh, tribal evangelization. So if you are serious about evangelizing and following the flow of God, you should definitely listen to RU. And then there's gonna be a call this year to summon all um, Y bombers for that matter. So you guys should jump in and, and then enjoy the word of God. Um, my final recommendation for you is to uh, for you to find out the calling from God for yourself. Um, God's definite calling for you is to, to be a evangelism disciple who conquers, or conquers your own field. Many people think that I, I'm still young. I don't have much specialty. I'm not even higher up. How can I change the field, right? It's a misnomer. It's a misunderstanding. Why? Because God is with you. You can you, you are there to break down the force of darkness and you have a unique answer to give to people, right? Maybe it's our, um, it's our limitation in our thoughts that, you know, we have to be certain level to actually do the move or movement, which is not true, right? Um, so, um, and among yourself, I hope that you encourage one another and make uh, have Y bombers find their own calling and to, uh, go to the, the point where you commission people out. Um, so while doing that, having absolute faith in the uh, sovereignty of God, um, you, should, you should avoid being deceived by Satan and by your own motive. You may have hidden motives and also be deceived by the uh, environment that's maybe ahead of you, then you will succeed. All right, that's all I can say to you today. And then I really um, bless you all and I'll pray for you, keep praying for you. Um, you'll be a model and leader for uh, many remnants and uh, I'll, I, I'll definitely pray for David Shaw. Um, congratulations on being a president. And um, let's keep the communication channel going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Amen. Thank you, Elder. Thank you, Elder. Um, just like our Elder um, uh, gave us about Galatians two twenty, uh, let us remember that um, he had been uh, Christ. Uh, he was crucified, 
And it is not I who no longer live, but Christ who lives in me. Um, let us grab hold on to that. And every single word that Elder said about um, following the business missions and following the stream of the covenant of are you and finding the calling yourself to the point that commissioning other people, it is, um, he's standing as a witness. He's um, giving this uh, very key pointers um, as a witness. Um, so um, it is um, very good and important for us to hear um, what he says very well. Um, so um, thank you so much for um, such a, a key key um, encouragement and the words for our all the white bombers here as well as our leadership team. Um, um, our Deacon Eddie, are you here? Um, yes. Hey. Okay. So um, our the bomb president of New York, um, Eddie, will give the word of encouragement and the congratulation message. Um, so thank you for inviting me. Um, I want to give a shout out to Kite for being skipped. I've been overlooked many times, but we're 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 God's special remnant, so you shouldn't feel bad about that. Um, <laughs> You know, at, at the um, the uh, at the highest levels of, of U.S. politics, or or in the military, and even within the church, there's this thing called a a uh, change of command ceremony, and it's a it's a passing of the baton from the the existing leadership onto the newly appointed leadership, and and uh, what's important when it comes to that um, is is that the that the existing leadership <clears throat> that's leaving has has um, basically dedicated themselves in this case Jay has done that for the past two years in in providing a platform for that next generation to step up. Um, I think what's important here, what what a similar vein that runs across you know politics, the military, the church, or even as it relates to this organization is that although Jay may be <clears throat> stepping down for now, um, she's still a part of the team. We're all a part of the same team, working towards the same goal, which is the advancement of the kingdom of God. And, and I think the one difference between the, those organizations and this one is that this appointment um, is, is God-ordained. And, and so I think we, we all recognize that. Uh, I want to thank Jay for... Um, her faithful service over the past two years uh, in faithfully serving while on New York. Uh, it's clear that, that, you know, it took tremendous leadership and perseverance. Um, and I'd say most importantly, <clears throat> a deep enjoyment uh, of the covenant um, and the promise uh, that's held in Acts 1, 3, and 8. Um, I, I think... Um, it was an unprecedented time in global history, and the fact that she's she was able to serve so faithfully the organization um, and, and the members is, is commendable. Um, and, and I hope that she continues to remain involved um, as, as it relates to supporting this new team and continue, continuing to advance um, the work that they're going to be focused on. <clears throat> as it relates to David, you know, I've seen David grow from a, a young pup, um, a boy training in the sheep pens of, a, of New York undergraduate universities here. Uh, and he's grown into uh, this not yet almighty young professional uh, stepping into this new role. And, and the thing about David um, that, that I'm the most attracted to is that he has a deep desire to seek and understand what God desires most. And so I look forward to working with and supporting his team um, as, a, as a number one, continue to take that baton, um, build upon the platform um, that's been established. And, and number one, continuing the work of enjoying deeply the covenant and the promise of Acts 1, 3, and 8. Um, but but the, in the same way as Pastor Chung has just mentioned, <clears throat> when, when, when Joshua 
was appointed to lead um, that group into the promised land. Um, you know, I want to challenge David and his team to seek um, how they can continue to further take the pulpit message, especially as it relates to the business people, and see how they, they can actually actualize that uh, in their fields um, solely for the purpose uh, of the advancement of God's kingdom. And so I look forward to partnering with them, supporting them, and, and just we'll cap it off by saying it's, it's time to get to work. Thank you. Thank you, Deacon Eddie. Uh, we're ever grateful for laying down this foundation in the New York Waipon region, um, the New York and New Jersey region, and allowing the younger, young business persons to have this space, the space for recreation, the space for um, uniqueness. And uh, we're ever grateful for uh, laying that foundation and holding on to the covenant and really following it. Um, so thank you so much for your word of encouragement. Um, and um, I know Deacon Paul was here. Would you like to share? I, I didn't um, ask him to prepare anything because I know he has something going on with the Eden Youth Group. Uh, but if you'd like to share a word of encouragement, the congratulatory message, uh, please feel free to share. Um, and uh, Deacon Paul Han is the chairman of the YBOM, and he's been serving this ministry for a decade. So uh, let us welcome him. Oh, uh, Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you for uh, inviting me to join this wonderful trip together. Uh, I see that uh, many uh, children and many even church children are struggling and wondering and suffering, uh, looking for the way of their life and meaning of their life and the goal of their life. Uh, and I acknowledge also that we also had a such a time when we were high school and college students that uh, we struggled something to look for something from the God and from the Bible, and they are also struggling in this way. Uh, we can do so many different things by the grace of God, but uh, I wish that we can do some small things that we can really help the, the children of our churches together. If we can uh, prepare something for our church and we help our church uh, together, I believe that our church will be strengthened and if our church is strengthened and we can, give, we can let them experience the grace and grace of God and help from God through our devotion, through our lives, I feel that many more people will come to the church to be saved and to be helped out. Uh, so I studied a small program that I can speak with the uh, church children for 10 week program that uh, for the purpose of helping them to find out of uh, their meaning of life and uh, their uh, future uh, uh, prepared by God. Uh, 그런 프로그램을 교회에서 진행하고 있는데 여기도 지금 어, 굉장히 다양한 분야에서 일하는 어, 영어들 들이 되게 많이 있는데 뉴욕 뉴저지 어, 지역에 있는 많은 어, 랩런트들과 어, 우리 영어들 들이 함께 만나서. 어, 정말 여러분들의 현장에서 여러분들의 삶에서 여러분들이 무엇을 기도하고 무엇을 생각하고 또 무엇을 위해 살아가는지 이런 진짜 대화들이 어, 우리 아이들이 어, 자기 인생을 찾아가는데 어, 굉장히 중요한 도움이 되지 않을까 싶습니다. 그래서 우리 와이밤들이 어, 예배 공동체로 또 랩런트 서밋 공동체로 또 그걸 바탕으로 해서 교회를 힘 있게 하고 또 2, 3, 7의 많은 백성들이 교회 올수 있을 만한 그런 교회를 함께 디자인하고 빌드해 가는 그런 그런 문화를 우리가 시작했으면 좋겠습니다. 감사합니다. 네. 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 The encouragement to always give the confession of faith to your fellow Y bombers and to the remnants. And that's the start 
uh, when we give the confession of, about our faith, that's when others are revived and that's when the region is saved. Um, so I um, am much grateful for sharing that covenant, that word of wisdom to um, our Y bombers, even from when we get when we start first started. Um, so at this time, let us sing hymn 320 and end in blessing prayer and the benediction. And now our pastor, John Jong, will give the blessing prayer and benediction. Grace of Jesus Christ, our Lord, the love of our Father, and fellowship of feeling of the Holy Spirit, all Waibam, <clears throat> remnant and leader and pastor, always be with us forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Oh, let us take a picture. Okay, let us quickly take a picture. Okay. Oh, let us see. Um, Eddie, do you want to open up your camera? And maybe uh, Sharon and Hyunju, uh, Assistant Pastor Hyunjun and Pastor's wife, Yuzhe, Paul. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Uh, let us take a picture. I know uh, Deacon Paul Han is um, at the church um, or, uh, with, the with the children and youth. So um, let us give thumbs up. Jesus is the Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay, good, good.
Um, so now the worship has ended. Um, so maybe like one, something that we learned today, one sentence or one word, uh, let us share our forum. Um, and then um, we'll, we'll end. Um, uh, starting from maybe our, uh, the incumbent leader, um, Joanne uh, from Indiana, faithfully joining every, every week, faithfully praising the Lord um, and the leading the, uh, the worship praise team with Paul. Um, Joanne, would you like to share the covenant that you held to, or maybe say a word of encouragement to uh, the new court? Um, yeah, I can, sure. So I think um, I really, uh, first of all, um, it's been a blessing to be able to join the YBOM meeting. It's, it feels strange because it's like the New York YBOM and I'm in Indiana, but I feel like um, you know, that has really blessed me by connecting me to this group. And I think um, as I was listening today, you know, I think God gave me the conclusion of just like the one word I'm holding on to from this is the covenant, um, holding on to the covenant, being immersed in God's word um, and holding on to that accurately. Um, but I think um, for words of encouragement, um, I think that there, you know, we all have kind of this struggle between living our spiritual life and living our, our like worldly lives. And it becomes very easy for us to like make those things separate, to think of them as separate. Um, even in my own walk of faith, um, there's always been the struggle to, I think, continue to see everything, everything in my life through the lens of the gospel. And so I think, um, you know, I pray that as um, you go through the next, uh, your terms as the officers and leaders, um, that you would always be able to see everything from the lens of the gospel, every incident, um, even in things that seem very mundane or uh, whatever situations arise, um, to be able to see that through the gospel and see God's plan behind it. Um, and then I think um, in the busyness of life, um, it's easy to kind of get swept away. And even with regular worship time, um, to sort of have our prayer and then go about our day-to-day -day business. But um, I think sometimes it's even hard to have that prayer time and that summit time. But I think um, it that making the time, somebody once told me that if you look for time, you'll never find it. Um, but um, he is to just make the time. And so in every little thing, um, you know, it could be something like while you're doing um, your day-to-day -day business, just having that continuous prayer time of just taking a minute to just remember that God is with us. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's the, my words of encouragement. Thank you very much. Um, Sohun, who designed the background for us today, would you like to share one word or one sentence? Um, I really look forward to the coming worship and everything. Um, I really enjoyed uh, being together during the worship. And even today, I really um, hold on to the word heavenly throne. So mm -hmm. I think being here together is everything. So every day, every week, every uh, Saturday, we gather together and share our forum and follow the, the stream of uh, messages, everything. So um, yeah, go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. Um, and well, since um, our, we, have um, other schedule. We'll have two more people. Um, maybe Assistant Pastor Hyunjun, uh, would you like to share something? 
Um, first of all, I'm glad um, like this of the white bomb. Uh, God bless this white bomb and um, like the new the more board members on the all the world's up. So um, I'm yeah I'm really praying for the white bomb and the, all the like the, the members who uh, devoted themselves for the white bomb and the the region and then the order and as well as for the the United States. So um, yeah. Please keep going in it and then please guide by, guide by the Holy Spirit and I'll really pray for you guys. Mm, amen. Um, and David, <laughs> finally. I'll make it short. Um, thank you so much, Pastor and Elder Lee and uh, you know, Deacon Eddie and Deacon Paul Han um, for a um, word of encouragement. Uh, truly, I'm very humbled and uh, a little panicky, but I hope that <laughs> God give us the, the um, this uh, mission uh, that we can really focus on only what he desires and um, only be guided by his spirit, only making choices and decisions with um, his word and the Holy Spirit. And I just want to uh, <clears throat> rephrase today's uh, message that's given to us the covenant of Canaan and um, I truly encourage all the white bombers can be strong and courageous you know as as long as we are all staying within this 24 hours um, blessing um, there's not uh, nothing can stop us because God is with us and I just want to continue to pray for all the white bomb members here and let us all become witness thank you amen Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. Um, so, uh, Elder Peter, would you like to pray for all, um, for maybe forum um, prayer? Maybe we could grab hold on to the word and just pray for one minute. And Elder Peter, would you like to close us in prayer? Okay. Let us um, hold on to today's message. The second start of the YBOM New York from Joshua 1. Um, one to two, my Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people into the land that I am giving to them, to the people of Israel. This is the word of God. This is a promise of God. Let us hold on to the word and pray for just one minute. And Elder Peter, the YBOM, um, uh, the president of YBOM uh, North America will close us in prayer. Heavenly Father, uh, we give you all the glory. Um, for leading us um, through the exodus to all the wilderness. Um, you have led us through your word. Um, we could only be grateful for what you have given to us. Um, we pray uh, that all the young business persons who continue to gather for the worship, and especially if the leaders, uh, they continue to be edited with the word of God and designed and planned according to the word of God. Allow them to see the big stream, not just the young business person, but the stream of the North America and the world. Heavenly Father, may you give them uh, the filling of the Holy Spirit and the guidance of the Holy Spirit and allow them to hear this, your still small voice um, as they continue to enter into the Canaan land. Uh, may you bless our pastor John Jong, who has delivered the message for our young business persons and who have been supporting through the prayer background. May you continue to bless um, Deacon Eddie, Paul, and also Elder Lee, um, who has been the prayer background and also uh, being the communication channel um, and the antennas of the 237 nations and 5,000 people groups. Lord, pray this in Jesus Christ's name. Let's pray. Lord God, we believe that you are almighty and you hold, uh, you made the heavens and the earth and now you are with us um, by the grace of your son, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we believe that um, you are still today um, moving the history of the world um, and then um, you are um, establishing your kingdom to, uh, till the end of the end of the world. The world evangelism is not our motto. It's what you are doing even today. Lord, thank you for calling us in the midst of um, 
uh, the world flow and the covenantal fulfillment. Lord, today, may we lay down our lives and then humble ourselves um, for the calling of yours, just like Joshua and Caleb did. Um, let us begin to understand that, um, that you have already determined our, our future uh, and the, the future of Waibang. And for the sake of your work, Lord, uh, let us deeply go into the word. And then why don't, uh, uh, I ask you to bless incoming officers of New York War Bomb, and that they may find out um, your guidance, your perfect guidance, and um, may settle down the stones uh, platform for 237 and, and healing and summit for the world. Mm -hmm. Lord, uh, may we lay down our own ego um, and our plans, but may we find your plan, your, um, your will, and your mm -hmm. perfect eye as we pray together, just like the uh, upper room um, early church members did. In Jesus' name I prayed. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you for everyone. And we'll continue the same flow of the worship each each week and look out for announcement from David and the team. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Elder. Thank you, Assistant thank Pastor. You. Thank you, the, all the Y bombers. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>